Hey guys, this is Kayla with Becky's Graphic Design in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I will be showing you how to use shaded paragraphs. How to keep them within your margins without bumping up over the top of the margin. How to make shaded headers, shaded body copy, and how to merge those two styles into one consecutive shaded paragraph without a break in between. So to get started, let's just have a look at my file here. All I have is a body style created. Let's go right ahead and make a shaded paragraph style. Let's make this into our new shaded style. I'm gonna make a new paragraph style called shaded body. Let's make this a sans serif, just to make it different. And then let's hop over to the paragraph shading tab right here. First things first, we need to click shading. We do indeed want shading. Uh, next thing we're going to look at is clip to frame. I do indeed actually want to clip to the frame. I want to keep my paragraph within the frame. I don't want it to extend beyond the outer limits of it. We're also going to add an offset. Um... For this paragraph style, we want it to pull inside the margins. So we are going to go back to our indents and spacing and add a little bit of left indent and right indent. Maybe go a little more than that. And let's see what we got. Okay, so here we have our shaded paragraph. Now we've got a couple of issues just to start. This is too close to this paragraph above. Well, we can fix that with space before, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to increase the space before and let me move it where you all can see it. Okay, great, that fixes that problem. But I do find that there is an issue that arises with using this method. So let's extend this until we get a duplicate at the top of the page. You see what's going on here? If our paragraph ever comes to the top, there is no additional shading at the top of that paragraph. It simply gets cut off. So we can fix this by using rule above and below instead of using space before and space after. So let's go back into our paragraph style and get rid of that. We're gonna get rid of the space before and instead we're going to hop over to paragraph rules. In paragraph rules, we are going to use rule above to create some space at the beginning of the paragraph style. Uh, we do indeed want it to keep in frame. This is how we are going to keep it from clipping right at the very top of the frame. It will scoot it down from that top. Uh, we're going to do an offset. We're going to do a negative offset. Or is it a, I don't remember. Nope, it's a positive offset for rule above. Okay, now let's go ahead and add our rule below. We'll turn this on. And we're going to give it a negative offset to match. Or nope, a positive offset as well. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's 
Okay, now we will give it a corresponding space before and after. Right, we're going to make everything 0.25. Let's go back to that shading, give them a line weight of none. All right, there we go. Let's click OK. Now, whenever a shaded paragraph comes to the beginning or bottom of a line, it will be forced to keep some distance in between itself and the top of that paragraph. So what about when we have a break like this, where it's breaking in the middle of a paragraph? This I am going to prevent from happening by using a keep option. So let's go back into our paragraph style again. We're going to go to our keep options and I'm going to tell it to always keep all lines together, all lines in the paragraph. This will be used for an excerpt or a caption or maybe a short story in the middle of the text. And I don't want it to ever be broken, so I'm going to just tell it to always keep all lines together. Now, instead of breaking it across, it will always skip onto the next page. Now, say we wanted to add a header to these shaded styles. Let's make a header that's also shaded. I'm going to do this simply by making a bigger and bolder version of Open Sans. Then I'm going to duplicate this style, shaded heading. Okay, perfect. I'm going to tell it to redefine the style with current style. All right. So now here the problem is, is that we have two shaded paragraphs that are supposed to stay together, right? How do we do this? Well, let's go ahead and look at our paragraph style again. And we're going to go over to the shaded paragraph tab. There are no options in here about consecutive paragraphs, but if we go over to the paragraph border tab, look at this. There is an option for merging consecutive borders and shading with the same settings. Now we can't get to these options unless the border happens to be enabled. So what we're going to do is essentially make an invisible border around this style. Then we will be able to clip this option on the merge consecutive borders with the same settings. So yes, we already have it set at a weight of zero. Perfect. And now we need to go over to our shaded body style and also apply the same settings. I'm going to go back to paragraph border, add that border of zero and make sure that this option is checked. There we go. Now we have combined paragraph styles. Let's do a little bit of work to this header, make it look a little better. I'm going to use my rule above. And we're going to push that offset away give it a little more room when it encounters the top of a frame. And then we're going to increase that heading, the shading, I should say, to match. Now notice what happened when I did this. These paragraph styles are no longer considered the same because I changed the offset levels of the paragraph shading in this style, it no longer matched the 
paragraph style of shaded body. So they became disconnected. The moment I do anything, they become disconnected. So whatever I do here, I must match on the shaded body. Whatever shaded paragraph styles you're trying to combine must be exactly the same on this tab only and the paragraph border too. So I need to add more shading to the top, which means I then must duplicate whatever I have done here on shaded body. So let's go do that. I need to go add 0.3125 over to shaded body. Oops. Now watch what happens. Whenever I add, there, everything combines perfectly again. And I have decided I wanna add a little extra shading to the bottom of this as well. But remember, you need to increase your rule above and below to match this or else it will start clipping at funny spots. So my offset for the bottom, is now going to be, let's make it, let's make the tops and bottoms and the offsets for everything, three, one, two, five. All right, there we go. Let's go do, duplicate the same thing on shaded heading. Ah, didn't mean to do that. We're going to decrease the space after, however, on the heading. I would like it to be a little closer to its text. And the header will never occur without the body text anyway. I do believe I need to keep this at 0.5 though. Okay. Now, let's say we backspace here. My keep option for the heading is probably not what it needs to be. So my heading has been told to keep all lines and paragraph together. This is its own paragraph, right? Well, I need to tell the body. No, I need to tell the heading to always keep with next. So let's open up the paragraph styles for that one. So it doesn't matter if we keep all lines together, but we do want it to keep with next. Keep with the next one lines at least. There we go. Now it's not allowed to separate. All right, so after a little more fine tuning, these are the settings that I finally landed on that seem pretty consistent and work going across the columns. Always stay together um, and don't break down. So let's look first at our heading. Uh, first and foremost, I made sure to apply a keep with next style to the heading, so it must always stay with the following shaded body. I have a paragraph rule below, applied with a line weight of none, and an offset of 0.3125. It is also told to keep in frame. I have a rule above that is also invisible, and this one is set at 0.5. My paragraph border is invisible. Um, the only thing that goes on here is the need to have this checkbox checked right here. Merging consecutive borders and shading right here. As far as the shading itself goes, I have it set like this.
and it is being told to clip to the frame. Now let's look at the shaded body. The shaded body, the keep options are as such. I told it to keep all lines together. Under the paragraph rules, we have a rule above, an invisible one with an offset of 0.3125. It is told to keep in frame. We have a rule below with that is invisible, also with the same offset, 0.3125. The border, make sure that you have consecutive borders clicked. Nothing else here matters, just make it invisible. And then for shading, it is told to click to frame. Um, and these are the same settings I have from the prior one. I do have a space before and after on these ones. Here's the space before and the space after. Um, I think I did a little modification to these on the header as well. I think I had, an, this was 0.5 on the space before for the uh, header on the other one. Let's just look, just to double check. Almost. Yeah, 0.4375 and no space after. Okay, everyone, that is how you keep your shaded paragraphs from bumping outside the margin and how you keep the shaded header from separating from the shaded body. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead, like, and subscribe, leave a comment. It really helps us out, lets us know what you're thinking. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.